How we doing today, everybody? Coming back with another Marvel Champions plate. Or excuse me, not playthrough. <laughs> it's time to go to sleep. Uh, I think this will be my first hero preview. This will be kind of cool because I have to go back and look at Miles and Gwen. Um, because I've been having fun with them so far. It was super cool. But I was extremely excited when I found out that this was announced. So it looked like. They're going through uh, the multiverse, the Spider-Man uh, multiverse characters, which I think is kind of cool uh, with all the Web Warriors. So I'm excited to see what they drop next. Not only is this character kind of cool and I get into it, but we got another Daredevil card. Let's go. Hey, Fantasy Flight, we better get a Daredevil. If there's anybody from Fantasy Flight watching this, we better get a Daredevil hero set. Like, we, or we riot. We riot. But, yeah, let's get into this, man. Because I think that this is kind of awesome that uh, we get a character, especially uh, that's becoming more mainstream because of the, the Spider-Man multiverse movies. But this is, uh, we, we, we have the, uh, not a spider bot. I can't even think of her name right now. Uh, spider suit. So it's Penny Parker. So in the in the <laughs> in the animated movie, she was um, she was much younger than what her character portrays here. Uh, so I do appreciate that they went at least went older teenager years, maybe even adult. Uh, not quite sure what her age is in this one. So because I was when I first saw who it was, I thought maybe they were going to go with the more childlike version like they did in the movie. But it makes sense considering Miles Morales was kind of young in that one a little older in the uh in the game and you know she's here to match roughly the same age so i'm excited to see what they continue going through with this whole set but to introduce her uh she has two cards that will represent her alter ego and hero form so as you see with this top view right here uh, we have the Penny Parker on one side and then we have the uh, spider on the other side. So whenever she flips to hero mode, it'll be this card here and this card flipped up uh, because now her, her spider suit is activated compared to if she's an alter ego. She'll be Penny Parker with the spider suit that's inactive. As you can see here, there's the inactive here and the active on the spider suit. So it, it kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner. Um, I, I just wanted to show this view first before I go into the smaller Fantasy Flight uh, window that they have when they display these new cards because it would have been kind of hard to <laughs> go back and forth between those four cards to try to explain it. But yeah, let's hop into it. Well, actually, before before we do that, I want to talk about because uh, I went ahead and read through her cards before hopping on this. I was at work. <laughs> on my phone looking through the different cards and i want to say as you can see here her hand size is four in alter ego and her hand size is three in hero form both which are extremely atrocious even by hope standards right but i think that there's a, a method to the madness here with how her kit is going to work and i get into that um as we go through the cards but in her alter ego mode with her being Penny Parker, we have her psychogen, uh, psychogenetic compatibility. So set up, you will put the spider, uh, spider suit into play inactive. That's referring to this card here, the bottom left with the inactive side, uh, face up. And then she have an alter ego action, exhaust the spider suit to draw two cards, which I think is kind of cool, uh, that she'll be able to, uh, you know, help her with her economy a bit. With her having the forehand size is kind of a, you know, it's kind of rough with <laughs> starting off with that amount. So that may be your fir first action because you will have to, uh, you're going to have to balance if she's going to attack, th uh, thwart, or defend, or if she's going to draw two cards when, if she's flipping from uh, alter ego to hero or even hero to alter ego if she wants to go down. That gives her that opportunity instead of wasting an activation on attacking, defending, or thwarting. It gives her the opportunity to draw two cards. So that helps out quite a bit 
with her uh, with her tempo and her flow within the game. We're trying to keep up with the villains. And then here on the spider suit, since this will be inactive, on the inactive side, we have return to base. Forced interrupt when you flip to this side. Flip spider to Penny Parker. So you will flip this one. Or excuse me, force when you flip to this side. Yeah, so you will flip this card to here. Uh, detach Penny Parker from here. Removing all counters on her card and remove all counters on her and cards attached to her to this card. So what happens is when you flip to this mode, so you will flip this card from the bottom left to the bottom right and then you will flip this top left one to the top right and then her uh her alter ego card becomes an upgrade and you would literally put this top right card behind this bottom right card so that's what they're referencing is whenever you flip down the cards are going to separate and then they will flip to their they will flip to their respective sides on alter ego which i think is kind of cool and whatever counters is on her uh, we'll learn more about that, whatever, whatever that pertains to. And then when she's in her hero form, so we're looking at the cards in the right column. Uh, it's an interface pilot or the keywords, and that's going to make a little bit more sense later. Um, and also with her uh, spider suit cards, you can see here this card's printed text box cannot be treated as if it were blank. And it's the same here, which is kind of cool because there are some nasty obligation cards within campaigns um nemesis sets that forces you to have to not pay attention to anything that's on their card and this allows her to not have to deal with that so at least there's you know looking at these hand sizes she ain't getting she's not getting that that whole treatment <laughs> too much but when she's flipped up you'll put this card on uh you know you'll attach it to the spider suit uh, active side, which will have active web warrior and she'll have interface pilot. So that's, that, that's amazing. So the card here, uh, sync ratio, it's a resource. So you exhaust an interface upgrade you control, which could be this one, uh, generate that upgrades resources. And this one is a wild and you will see as we go through the other ones that they may have some different, uh, resources associated with them so let's go ahead and hop into the rest of that now that we've covered this complex madness that's going on here all right so this is what i was talking about here all right so we got host spider with the upgrade of three it's an interface spider so once again we see the interface card so this one can be exhausted to gain a resource if need be and that that one is a wild as well so we got the hero action exhaust whole spider ready spider suit so what's interesting about this uh is we have three out of her four cards <laughs> that are spider suit and what's funny is we have this spider suit here and the spider oh this is just spider oh there we go so we'll be able to exhaust uh, will we be able to ready her uh, if need be? And it, it's a it's a cool little combo where uh, you can activate for a thwart and attack. Use the whole spider to exhaust, which readies uh, spider suit. And if you want to switch back to Penny Parker, that allows you to still be able to exhaust uh, spider suit in uh, alter ego in active form, which will allow you to draw two cards. So that'd be a cool little combo if you need that. Um, yeah, it's a three cost. Man, she's getting kind of Iron Man ish here. And I'm all, you know, if you see my hero <laughs> ranking, you know Iron Man is up there. He got a special place in my heart. One of my favorite uh, heroes to begin with because of his ingenuity. But, you know, all the upgrades on the table always makes me happy. So now we got the Psychic Link, the two cost upgrade, mental resource if you're paying something with it. It's an interface tech. So we got a hero interrupt. When Spider Suit makes a basic thwart, exhaust psychic link, it gets plus two thwarting for, for that thwart, which is kind of cool. You know, it's uh it's kind of a poor man's version of uh Spectrum's form where she gets the plus th uh two thwart if she's in that form. Uh we get an, an exhaust, you know, you, you get to exhaust it to be able to add another two thwart. So 
she'll basically be thwarting for four, which is pretty heavy. And if you decide to take that form into justice, you know that it could be five if you have uh, uh, hero intuition attached to her. So that's pretty, I, th I think that'll have a lot of value um, if it's something that stays on the table. So we got speed metal alloy, one cost upgrade, interface tech, hero interrupt. So when a spider suit defends against an attack, exhaust metal, uh, speed metal alloy, it gets plus two defense. So that, that one uh, with the physical resource that allows you to be able to uh, defend for two, which um, is similar to the last one where you have two different, um, you have two different, um, what is it called? Uh, you, you now have two different upgrades that have a similar effect, kind of like Spectrum. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have, what is this? Web fluid compressor. So that's a two cost upgrade interface tech. So it works the same as just like the past two, or you get the plus two attack. Uh, yeah, his interface tech. I was wondering if that was going to be a weapon, but it's not. But just like Spectrum, yeah, I, <laughs> it's funny. These kind of work like a uh, it, they they they, they kind of work like a poor man's Spectrum, which I guess she needs all the help that she give with a three hand <laughs> three hand size, which is crazy. Uh, we got the one support with Aunt Man, Uncle Ben. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, there's has some really good art on it. So it's a persona action exhaust Aunt May and Uncle Ben and discard the top two cards of your deck. Top three instead. If you're an alter ego form, add one spider card, discard it this way to your hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's kind of like uh black cat mixed with and this is almost like Iron Man's alter alter ego action where he have to draw three and then discard one. But you know, if you or kind of counting your cards and paying attention to your deck. This can have a lot. This can have a lot of value for you. So, okay. Okay. I see it. So, we got a one cost event. All systems go. Hero action choose. Ready each interface upgrade you control. Search your deck and discard power for an interface upgrade and add it to your hand. And that's going to be nice. I wonder if she's going to have multiple of these. Um, I can see her having three of those. That would be... She can do a lot with that and you can alternate between the different activations. So if you have, if you attack for four and you're able to uh, use your whole spider to ready her and then use this event to ready an interface, if you've already used it with her, uh, uh, oh my goodness, her hero action, which allows her to exhaust the interface to be able to generate a resource that allows you to be able to attack or thwart or defend again that's pretty strong that's pretty strong i see why she got that three hand size that's crazy uh two cost event rapid deployment the thwarting event remove three threat from the scheme if you pay for this card using a resource generated by spider suit sync ratio ability there it is remove three from from the scheme okay so is hers is opportunistic when it comes to um taking full advantage of these cards because two for three is not that crazy yo is that daredevil look at that there we go um yeah so hers is yeah like it it's opportunistic on how efficient it can be so if we can if we can manipulate it to where we can get those extra uh or where we're able to use her event to well excuse me, not her event her hero ability to pay for this to get that extra three like that's that, that that's gonna be prime for her web trap it's an attack event, two cost, deal five damage to an enemy. That's decent. If you pay for this card using a resource generated by the spider suit sync ratio, stun that enemy. That's kind of nice. So this is like, uh, what's her name? Spider Woman's uh, Venom Blast. Or would this be closer to Miles Morales's Venom Blast on oh, his? Oh, that's interesting. That's a lot of value for for two cost. If you can pay for it with her ability, that's okay. Okay. Ejection protocol, zero cost support. So you just play it at the table, discard ejection protocol, exhaust each interface upgrade you control, set your hit point down to six, give your identity a tough status card and flip to also ego. 
that's not bad if you know that a nasty attack. This is like an anti Ronin card. <laughs> this is like an anti Ronin card, man. Where, yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, because I can see that if you know a big attack is about to come, where there's a ton of boost cards already waiting for the for the villain to activate. That'd be a good way to flip down and be like, you know what? I'd rather just take that threat. <laughs> I'd rather just take that threat. That's interesting, but that's a that's a lot of that could be a lot if you got several of your interfaces down because her interface would be her uh her alter ego card that has been flipped over and then whatever other interface cards that you have. So that's a lot, yeah. To six. Or it could be a way to kind of get yourself back up if you've taken a lot of damage. Because she does have 14 health. That's one thing I didn't say earlier she's got a lot of health so maybe if you're taking a ton of hits and you want to just go down to to heal up that's a way to get yourself to to six if you're down to like one or two or i guess technically less than six and you want to um exhaust on that next turn if you don't find a way to unready yourself to get yourself up to 10 like that'll be a nice way to do that okay that's not too bad it's, it's almost like um captain america's uh helmet but you have to not be dead <laughs> to play this card. So that that's cool. Look at that. That's the second Daredevil specific card that's here. But we know how much Daredevil is in this game, which frustrates me. He better he better have a hero set coming soon. Um, so is there? It's not even Matt Murdock. Look at that. Interesting. Um, but he's a two cost ally, two thwart, one attack, two consequential damage one consequential only attack that's run of the millish uh response after daredevil defends after an attack move one damage from him to an to the attacking enemy my man got interesting yeah so even if no because if he don't survive the attack the response won't go off oh that's interesting okay so this might be more of a minion blocker, if anything. And then he can thwart if you need that kind of help. All right, it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's, and this would be more of a mid-tier because he is one of the cheaper. Uh, I think this is a card that's going to be used for one particular thing, but it'll be popular in the long run because this is one of the cheaper protection ally cards that is out there, which people will love that. Okay, he's not too bad. Spider-Man War. Hey, I wouldn't mind it if he was the next one coming out, man. That'd be dope. Uh, so we got Spider-Man War. He got X and X. Three costs. One consequential. Three health. All right, X is equal to the number of face-down cards attached to Spider-Man War. Response after you resolve a treachery. If you control another web warrior, attach the treachery face-down here. And you can just have my man out here just collecting stuff. The anti-collector. I like that. <laughs> so this would be cool for him. Uh, you know, this is a cool way to keep shadows of the pet. Well, because you have to reveal it. So maybe like advance or assault, you know, some of those cards or, or even some of the um, the nastier ones. That's that's three boost cards to kind of keep those, you know, kind of culling the encounter deck to keep it from being as nasty as it could be. You know, of course, there's a lot of uh, RNG in this where uh, there's. You know, the timing of him coming out, the timing of cards that's left in the encounter deck before he comes into play. It's There's a lot of factors here, but I can see him being super nice. And what's even cool about this is with him being a web warrior. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Gwen Stacy came with a ton of web warrior protection allies. So you can make almost a leadership style protection deck with the amount of web warriors that's out now kind of crazy we got a two cost event thwip thwip Let's see superpower hero action deal one damage to a web warrior character you control place a total of two stun status cards on up to two enemies that's crazy this is another two oh, okay yeah that's crazy that that'll work well with miles morales for sure but that definitely puts you in a position to be able to control the enemy so this is a man that's crazy especially with it being a superpower that there's so much value that comes out of that. 
Um, especially if you're running endurance, like the amount of, oh man, that's going to be crazy. That's a good one. All right. We got a one cost upgrade spider tingle. Let's see. Superpower interrupt. When you were revealing the encounter card, deal one damage to a web warrior you control. If that card is a treachery, cancel its when revealed effects and discard. Okay. So that's a nice way to keep the nasty <laughs> encounter cards away. That's I like that. That's nice. Spider Man. Let's see. Which one? Oh, I don't Doc Ock has his own Spider Man. That's crazy. Uh two cost ally, gray one. Basic uh one thwart, two attack, two consequential there. Play only if you're a web warrior card. I, you know, seeing all these web warriors, I wonder if they're going to do the same like they did with Avengers and uh, a Guardian where there's the zero cost upgrade that allows you to gain that title and uh, get a plus one hit point or whatever. Because uh, I can't remember what the Guardian one does, but I think it's roughly the same. But I wonder if that'll come around. But anyways, a response after you play Spider-Man from your hand, ready and upgrade you control. That upgrade has a tech trait draw card. Ooh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know if any of image 18. I don't know if any of her other ones were tech or not. Oh, yeah. They all, yeah, this was table made for her then. Okay. Because they're, they're more towards like her attacking, thwarting one and defending one. So that's. Okay, so this look like this is special, uh, especially made for her, but I can't remember. Oh, he he also yeah, because this will work for Gwen Stacy and Miles Morales as well, with um, their web shooters and web slingers or whatever they call it. that. I think there was a tech too, so that'll work for them. Okay, three cost upgrade, force field generator. Oh, there go another tech. Six energy counters. When you would take any amount of damage, remove that many energy counters from here. For each energy counter removed this way, prevent a damage. Oh, okay. So this is like an upgraded version of the energy barriers because they only do uh, one instance per use, whereas this one you can use as many as you want. They kind of play like um, Groot's uh, growth counters where you can use those growth counters to prevent X amount of damage where X is the amount of group uh growth counters used. That's not bad. It's a nice little way to play group. <laughs> uh we got a zero cost event repurpose. Let's see. Skill. Hero action discard attack upgrade you control. Ready your hero and choose thwart attack or defense. Until the end of the round, your hero gets plus X to chosen power or X is equal to that upgrade's printed cost. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because this might be... Okay. So, two heroes come to mind for this one. Uh, Venom. No, three. Venom, Rocket, and Iron Man. So... We know Venom can have an extra restricted weapon that he may or may not can use for, you know, a throwaway. So this would give him kind of a boost for that. We know Iron Man gets like seven cards on the table. So you may be okay giving up a gauntlet, a boot, or his helmet, which don't do, it do enough for him, but it ain't that crazy. And then Rocky got all those weapons. <laughs> so if he got his sidearm, then you know if you're not able to flip down to take advantage of the uh of his of his alter ego where he's uh when you discard a weapon and then draw two cards. So this would be a good way to still make use of them if you're struggling with um if it's more beneficial for you to stay up. But even then it seems so situational. This is an interesting one. I'm excited to see what the what the community do with this one. And what's good is with it being an energy that that works in uh, both Iron Man and Captain Marvel's favor. So that okay, I hear you. Unshakable one upgrade with Hulk on there. 
condition, superpower. Play only if your identity has at least 14 printed hit points. Your identity gains steady. Ooh, okay. So this works for Hulk quite a bit. See, we need more cards like this for Hulk because he just, um, as terrible of a design that Hulk is, this allows him to be more effective because stuns are so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're so punishing for him compared to everybody else, especially with the, um, that card that can increase his attack by 10 unstoppable force. Hulk smash it was one of them, but that allows like, that's, that's crazy. Like that, this, <laughs> that does so much. And it's a physical resource too. So that's, yeah, see, we need some more some more cards like this. If they help Hulk, put Hulk on there. That'll, that'll be fire. Because there's only maybe, what, five heroes that can use this? So it'd be Spider, Spider Suit, Hulk, She-Hulk, Thor, Valkyrie? Oh, and Drax. Oh, that's a good one for Drax, too. That's crazy. All right. All right. If I close out of it like an idiot, let me go back. Oops. All right. And then the last one, a different, uh, because her, her, her hero set will come with a, a set of, uh, will, will come with a new encounter set, which as you can see, uh, iron spider center to six. So I think that's kind of cool that, um, they're releasing this, but I'll go more into detail after I present them all. So we got Sandman. One one seven health, very beefy. See force response after Sandman takes any amount of damage from an attack. Discard the top seven cards of the encounter. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So he's just he's trying to end the game for you. That's why even with the boost card, it doesn't matter. Dang. So once he come around, you just got to deal with him. That's that's tough. Bombshell. All right. Two scheme, three attack with an asterisk or a star, excuse me. So with the star, divide damage from bombshells, attack them on each character. The attack player controls as evenly as possible. That could, that could cause some trouble. Let's see, boost, deal one indirect damage to each player. Exhaust each character damage this way. Ooh. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of nasty. Good thing she's only four HP. So you could just try to get rid of her as soon as she hop on the table. That's crazy. Hobgoblin 2-2. Two, two. So the star is for is an attack. Force to interrupt. When Hobgoblin would attack you, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to Hobgoblin's attack instead. Take one indirect damage for each boost icon discarded this way. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So you just discard cards off this man like the anti-scarlet witch. Get out of here. That's wild. <laughs> then we got Iron Spider, 2-2, two, two. Guard Patrol, Retaliate, 1, Toughness. Man, that's a, this dude staying on the table. So every time he attack, he is overkill with the 2. And look, 3 boost cards. That's wild. That is disgusting. Grand Larceny. The Iron Spider six, the centers of six are on a crime spree, robbing every business they come across. Threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a criminal minion is in play. I take it they're all criminals. Criminal lead, criminal, criminal. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's the that's the whole set. She might be the next one that I'm dying to play that they've announced so far. I think um Spider Ham is interesting. Um I think his cards are goofy and I and I think that whenever he comes out, his his kit probably is gonna follow along the, the joke of an article that they put out. But yeah, I mean he was he was alright. Um I think he's just more of a goofy kind of like what Arkham Horror did with Barkham Horror. Like that's probably probably their Barkham Horror of Marvel Champions is him. Um, but I think that he's legitimate because some of those cards that was there, like those hero cards were legit. They are, at least they appear legit. 
Um, but she's probably the one I want to play the most next to Ironheart just because of the amount of cards that they have across the table. I don't know that this would be something I would play up against, uh, <laughs> that I'll play up against like the, the galaxy's most wanted kit, but I think that she's going to be fun, man. She's right up my alley with a ton of tech upgrades that do a lot. Um, I think that she's going to be versatile. Um, in a lot of the different builds that, that, that could happen with her, I'll probably be pl playing her more in protection or aggression, uh, because they have a lot of the more cheaper cards to take advantage of. Uh, she won't, uh, she probably could do, um, man, she probably could do justice, but I think that aggression and protection is probably going to be her lane. I think that meditation is going to be heavy with her. Um, allowing her to exhaust to play a card down for three less because um, she has so much that she has to get out on the table to be effective, in my opinion, because she just hit such a tempo, uh, a tempo decline when she flips to hero side and you want to be prepared. It's similar to Iron Man, but at least with Iron Man, the more tech he gets out, the higher his hands are or what his hand size is. So, you know, there could be a point where you're pulling seven cards a turn compared to her she's at that three all the time so assess the situation might be big for her um yeah she's gonna be interesting she's gonna be another fun puzzle this might be a hulk level <laughs> puzzle that's coming out but i think that she's cool i'm looking forward to uh getting her to the table but you know this probably won't be released we still got nova uh iron heart Spider Ham, if he's legit, and then now her. Um, so that puts us probably around August, September when she comes out, which means we're going to have another box, either another box set, or they're just going to keep expanding on the Web Warriors. Because I think that with that new uh, Into the Spider Verse movie coming out, this they, they, they can probably get away with adding another, another one or two of them. Um, so hopefully we get like the Eddie Brock Venom, which would be cool. And Spider Noir, you know, now that he has his own, uh, ally that's, that's in protection. I'd like to see him because he's probably going to be like her where he's gadget heavy. Um, which <laughs> you already know I am with it. So yeah, this, this would be exciting, but I think that she's going to be super fun. I think she might be polarizing when she comes out. There's a lot of people that's probably not going to like her, like, like with Hulk. But she's going to be somebody that's going to be an acquired taste or will just gain um, gain momentum as the game, you know, comes out with more cards. So there may be more to her than than we're not seeing right now. But I'm excited to play her, man. I just think that her her kit looks super cool. There's a lot of moving pieces going on with that, which I love. So, yeah, I'm excited to see it. I appreciate you for uh, stopping by, you know, put a like a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of her and. Um, Y'all have a wonderful day.